Hey Star Wars fans and Black Series action figure collectors, we've got Echo here in his mercenary gear from the Bad Batch Season 2. Really, really nice figure. Um, yeah, finally getting to the third one now out of the four so far. Like I said, we've got Omega coming up for release sometime late this month, early next month. Um, so we'll see exactly when, when she hits. I have got my pre-order in. Um, yeah, so the limited release for these here in Australia only available at sort of EV Games and Zing Pop Culture, as far as I've seen. Uh, former ARC Trooper Echo's knowledge of proper military tactics and strategy provides valuable insight, while his socket arm and cybernetic implants give him the unique ability to interact with computer systems. So he's coming in at 15.2 centimeters or 6 inches. It does come with his helmet, blaster, and backpack. Um, so yeah, let's let's get rid of the box and take a look at the figure. That's what we're here for. So um, yeah, this is probably the the one with the least changes from the first version. Maybe, maybe tech tech might have less changes. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this isn't really different differentiating in terms of sculpt paint wise. Yeah, it looks great. It looks like a fantastic, you know, completely different figure in terms of the paint. Uh, those sort of browns, the orange flashes that the uh, Bad Batch have equipped themselves with. Including some reds. Again, sort of some flashes through there. And he doesn't come with the extra sort of grip hook accessory that he came with the first one, which is fine because it was more of a play thing. We, I don't think we saw that in the series anyway. I, be remiss if I can remember. Uh, backpack is removable. This nice simple sort of peg and hole system with the sort of the shape of his back plate sort of carved into the backpack to stop movement. Um, and that holds in pretty nicely. Like I've said occasionally I will glue a backpack down if they're a little bit loose but this one seems to be okay. It does come with one pistol is holsterable there and of course he only needs one pistol but again they've gone with the uh with the non-trigger finger fingers so i'm going to be having to once again slice in that little finger gap there so he can hold the blaster properly um yeah so the karma slightly different so it's a different sculpt um it does have these sort of little pads down here, whether they're pouches, I'm not, I don't think so, but it's a little, little bit of extra, extra, extra. Uh, the belts, you know, the belt's different, you know, it's less of his sort of clone trooper belt, um, but he's sort of kept the accessories and sort of stuff the same with the pouches and, and stuff like that. And just the pockets are different, the belt buckle is different. Um, but yeah, br the bright, the sort of the nice sort of beige tan colors the browns the earthy tones really really kick this figure into gear i really like it so again if we just move his backpack his helmet is removable um and yeah it's it's not the nicest snuggest fit but it looks good so as you can see it's got the sort of peg that once you sort of get it around the head and around his sort of apparatus there you've got to sort of wiggle it into place a little bit and you know fiddle around to get that attached but once you've got it there it, it does hold nicely but um yeah certainly not an easy thing but here is echo underneath obviously with his sort of cybernetic implants that adds to you know having the scomp link plug on his hand there which you know uses to salute Really looking forward to. I've just gone and rewatched the uh, the fives discovering the uh, the chip story arc. So the next one I'm going to go and rewatch is the uh, season seven arc where they free where they free Echo here with the assistance of the Bad Batch. But yeah, I think it's really good. I, I, I dig this figure. I like this, even the red sort of highlights on the undersuit. I like the yeah, I like the change of colours for the uh, for the outfit. 
So without further ado, let's take out the first one. We can sort of take a look at some of the differences. So uh, what I will do is I'll remove his helmet too and see if there's any sort of differences in the uh, in the paint applications on the head. So already spotting one. And that is the second one has sort of a gold, gold little, the nubs, whereas the other one had silver. Little sort of gold dot on the side there. No other paint applications. Both look pretty, pretty much the same. Otherwise, the old one probably looks a little bit paler. This one looks like he's got a little bit more colour in his face. The new one. So that's that's nice. In terms of that, the shoulder armor has been updated ever so slightly. Similar sort of shape. This one has sort of a, a rim around the, the side of them. Otherwise, I'm trying to work that out. That, that has been spun around, so that's the better way because the thing's got to be on the outside. And yeah, like I mentioned, the belt, the karma, but mostly pretty much the same bits. The knee joints are different, or the knee coverings, the knee armor. Do these big sort of, big sort of uh, knee coverings. Yeah. <laughs> and this one he's gone for a bit more simplistic sort of clone armor um, for the knee, knee plates there. Uh, same sort of, sh same sculpt of the shoes. Or boots, a little bit of colour with the grey on brown. But aside from that, it's uh, it's pretty much the same. Not a great deal of difference, but still cool to compare the two. Um, and yeah, it's it just it was very exciting to have you know a character like Echo come back in the circumstances. Um, and yeah, I really wish Bad Batch would address a little bit more, specifically with his uh, history with Fives and the 501st, and maybe touching upon some of those sort of subjects um, come Season 3. And sort of just let him join the Bad Batch and let him play his part, and that's kind of been it. Um, whereas I think there could be a lot more depth to the character. Um, you know, the tragedy of Fives is that... You know, he was he was killed and put down in action, not realizing that Echo had survived um, his you know brother. So I did mention that in the the fives video, the Arc Trooper fives video that I did recently. So yeah, this is the third version of Echo in the Black series. Which, you know, no complaints, no complaints. More for my clones, clone brethren. They're, they're fantastic. But yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on. Uh, Echo from season two of the Bad Batch. I'm just going to fix that up quickly. I'll do it better off off camera afterwards. But yeah, he's looking pretty good. I'm digging this one. That's not the right one. That one is. There's slight differences in the uh, backpack colors there. So articulation, you know, standard sort of ball, double ball joints in either side of the neck, top and bottom. Uh, he has the hinge joints, but again, they're sort of, the sort of hard armor sort of negates any movement there. Um, reasonable joint in the torso there, single joint in the elbows, good range of movement there. Um, in and out wrists, on, well, on his wrist, the one wrist he has, uh, and a swivel. Uh, just to sort of swivel in this elbow uh, hinge just to get that moving up and down no other movement in the uh, scomp link there it does have ball hinge in the or ball joint whatever it is in the in the thighs there inner thighs there's a thigh swivel there's a joint in the knee so that's for good movement and uh, the feet have a hinge with a rocker rocker joint for the feet so that's cool so yeah, another another nice addition. I'm really happy with this one. Again, love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you, always.